ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hey y'all, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. I am so grateful that you are joining me today on day 21. Praise God. We are at the end, y'all. Congratulations to each and every one of you who have made it to the end. Praise God. Give God all the glory, honor, and praises. I'm telling you, Jesus, he deserves it all. Praise God. And as we continue to submit to him today, let's yield to the Holy Spirit. Let's consecrate unto the Lord by reading the word, meditating, by praying. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's continue Continue to just praise him throughout the day. Let's continue to praise him, give him all glory and honor, y'all. Praise God as we yield to the Spirit of the Holy Spirit as we yield to the Spirit of God. And what we're doing as we are praying, which is a two-way communication, we're going to pray, but then we're going to listen for what God has to say to us. And whatever that is, we're going to capture it by writing it down, praise God. Because I know I'm one who likes to go back and read what the Lord is saying, praise God. So be one of those who are intentional about what God is saying to you because you're capturing it in time. You'll write the date, you'll write the time, praise God, because you always want to go back to it. And there will be times, praise God, that you will go back to it. You will We'll need to go back to it. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful for the Lord and what he's doing with us in this time and how is he, how he is encountering us in this time. And he's so good, y'all. So the Lord was uncovering uh, for us during this entire fast, praise God, chapter 19 of Luke. And in chapter 19, praise God, it has shown us how to be submissive unto the Lord. First, we started out with Zacchaeus, right? Praise God. And remember, let me go back here. The Lord said for the 18th, the 19th, the 20th, and 21st, praise God, we are going to be like that. And he was showcasing examples of how we were going to be, which means we're going to apply these examples to our lives. Hallelujah. And so let's go back. Praise God. In the beginning of 19, chapter 19 of Luke, we learned that Zacchaeus, he was drawn to Jesus. He had to see Jesus. He was a short stature, but he had to see Jesus. So he moved through the crowd so he can get a look, so he could see Jesus. And what did he do? He ran ahead. He ran ahead of the crowd, y'all. He climbed that sycamore tree, praise God. And guess what? He wanted that 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 eye uh, view, praise God. I was going to say bird's eye view, but he did. He wanted to be able to see Jesus. Hallelujah. And when Jesus encountered him in that divine location, praise God, he looked up and he called Zacchaeus by name. He called Zacchaeus by name. Think about it. Simon, Peter, praise God. He called him by name. He called Andrew by name, praise God. They followed him. He said, come follow me. They followed, praise God. And guess what? He called Zacchaeus by name. What did Zacchaeus do? He came down off that tree, praise God, hallelujah. And he moved in the things of God by uh, addressing the Lord. And he was very happy when the Lord said that he was coming over his house, praise God. He, he welcomed him. Hallelujah. He was so excited about it. He welcomed him, praise God. And so in our walk with the Lord, we have to welcome the Lord, right? We have, when he said he coming to our house, praise God, he knocking on the door at our house, we have to welcome him, praise God. Hallelujah. Cheerfully, joyfully, praise God. Hallelujah. And then we move right along to the parable with the servants. So the Lord was sharing with me that we, we be like Zacchaeus. We come when we're called, praise God. And we welcome him joyfully. Hallelujah. Praise God. But then when we get to the point where we are servants, we're going to serve like the one with the 10 minus, praise God, hallelujah, or minus, whatever you want to call it, praise God. But we're going to serve like him. We're going to serve like the servant who was given the most, praise God, and who brought back the most. Because we know that when we are faithful in a little, we are going to receive a great reward. And what did his master do? His master gave him 10 cities, hallelujah, to be authority over. Praise God, hallelujah. And the Lord said, be like that. Be like that. So we move from Zacchaeus to the servant with the 10 minus, praise God, hallelujah. And then we're going straight into who? The discipleship, praise God. His disciples, his faithful disciples, that when he spoke to them and gave them instruction, they went ahead. And he told them what they will find when they get there, praise God. And he told them what to say when they got there, praise God, hallelujah. And everything that the Lord told them, they found and they said exactly what he said, praise God, hallelujah, to say when they were questioned about the cult. Hallelujah. And they took the coat, they untied the coat and took it back to Jesus. And what did they do? Instead of just putting Jesus on the coat, praise God, they started to lay their coats, their, their cloaks 
on the colt, praise God. And as they were walking him along, hallelujah, down the Mount of Olives, praise God. Guess what? They were laying down the colts, praise God, hallelujah. He is royalty and they were welcoming the king, hallelujah. And they were blessing him with their words, praising him constantly, hallelujah. The Lord says, be like that. Be like that. And we read their praises. Blessed is the king who come in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. They were giving him the highest praise. Hallelujah. And then as we move from being disciples who have great praises in our hearts, praise God, and doing the instructions of the Lord as he is calling us to do and saying what the Lord tells us to say, praise God, we move right along into being like Jesus. We're going to be what Jesus have called us to be. And what did he call us to be, praise God, at the end of this chapter? He called us to be a house of prayer. Praise God. Hallelujah. He called us to be a house of prayer. So we are going to have the tenacity, praise God, to run ahead like Zacchaeus so that we can see Jesus. Hallelujah. And what I'm talking about when we're praying and we're meditating, we're running ahead, y'all, so we can be in the presence of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Think of Zacchaeus in that moment, and we're going to receive him joyfully. And then we're going to move right along, praise God, for what God gives us. Praise God. The little that he gives us, we're going to be faithful over it. We're going to be great stewards over it. Hallelujah. And then as we're being great stewards, we know that we're going to receive more because we're great uh, uh, stewardness. Praise God. Hallelujah. If that's a word. Where we've been good stewards over the little praise God. We know that our Lord is going to give us more. He's going to reward us with more to have authority over in the mighty name of Jesus. And as we move through that phase, we're going to be great disciples of Jesus because we're going to go forth doing his instructions. Listen to what I'm saying, y'all. And we're going to what? We're going to say what he tells us to say. Hallelujah. This is how we are yielding, y'all. This is submission, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. Every step of the way, submission. And then, praise God, we don't move from uh, 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 seeking the Lord and being in his presence and welcoming him to being a servant and a good steward. Hallelujah. To being a disciple and receiving those instructions. Praise God. Hallelujah. And, and saying exactly what we're told to say. Praise God. Guess what? We are now being like Jesus. Hallelujah. And how are we being like Jesus? Praise God. He said that we would be a house of prayer. Let me read that. It says in verse 46 of uh, chapter 19 of Luke, it is written, and my house shall be a house of prayer. Whose house? Jesus' house. Praise God. So now that you have consecrated to Jesus, now that you have submitted yourself to Jesus, you have yielded to the Holy Spirit, you have become his house. He's dwelling at his house. Praise God. Hallelujah. You are now his house, and his house should be a house of prayer. Y'all see that? Now we've become one with Jesus. Hallelujah. When we have reached this point right here, we've become we've become one. And now, praise God, I'm telling you, when I first started this fast, I was like, why a uh, uh, chapter 19, O oh Lord, of Luke, of all chapters, of all books, praise God, why are we looking at 19 of Luke? And I, I didn't know why, praise God, in the beginning. I was just moving along in the Holy Spirit. But the way that the Holy Spirit has broken it down for us to see the various levels of those who are saved in the body of Christ. Because we come in like a Zacchaeus. We want to know. Maybe some of us are curious. We just want to see Jesus. Hallelujah. But when we get in the presence of the truth, when we get in the presence of the righteous one, praise God. Hallelujah. We're like, hey, we start repenting. We start saying what we're going to do to, to pay back those we wrong. Praise God. Hallelujah. We just want to get clean, right? And Jesus washes us clean. And he said, I'm coming to your house. And then we receive him joyfully because we know the truth. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then we move right along. Hallelujah. And being great servants servants, right? We start, we start being good stewards over the little that we're giving. Praise God. Maybe it's praying every Tuesday night with a person. Hallelujah. And you're just a good steward. I'm going to pray every Tuesday night with this person. And you know, we're going to meet up at eight o'clock. Praise God. And every Tuesday night, hallelujah. You may not meet up at eight o'clock. Maybe you have to reschedule to nine o'clock or whatever. Or maybe you have to reschedule to the next day, but you don't just leave it. Hallelujah. To the wayside. You make sure that, Hey, you said you're going to pray with that person. Praise God. Even if you had to reschedule it, whatever the case may be, you are there to pray and you're you're there to just be a good steward over what God has given you. And that seems like a little thing, right? Praise God. But then he starts to give you more. He starts to draw more people to you. He starts to draw more people. Praise God. Now you over, praise God, hallelujah, a, a whole prayer house. 
Now, hallelujah, he started to draw more people to the point, praise God, he starts to give you sermons, and now you're building a church, praise God. You see what I'm saying? The Lord will give you more, hallelujah, to be a steward over when you are faithful in a little. And then you're moving right along to be a disciple, praise God. This is where you have surrendered your vessel, and you're just going to be a complete servant unto the Lord. You are fully yielded, and you are doing the instructions that the Lord has given you, but also, praise God, because you've learned how to be a good steward, by, by taking care of the little, right? Now you're into to the uh, 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 major authority um, position, praise God. Hallelujah, if that's a, a statement, praise God. But you have more authority in your positioning. So now the Lord is just telling you what to say. He's speaking through you. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, he's speaking through you. He's telling you what to say. He's telling you what to expect before you even get there. Praise God. Hallelujah. Some people say deja vu and all that, but I'm just letting you know, you're going ahead. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you know what to expect because the Lord has already told you and he's told you what to say in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. And you're conducting yourself uh, in that case. Praise God. And then you come to be in a house of prayer, which is the house of Jesus Christ, because he said in my house, my house will be a house of prayer, praise God, hallelujah. So now you are the house of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit dwells in you, and that is a house of prayer. So if you're not constantly praying, y'all, if you're not thinking about Jesus, you're not reverencing Jesus, praise God, but you're letting every single thing else inside through your ear gates and your eye gates, hallelujah, you're consuming any old thing, praise God, into this temple, and... um there's no word uh, filling your belly, praise God. There's no praise coming out of your heart. You know, praise God, you have to pay attention to then what, what kind of temple are you, okay? Hallelujah, because it is not a temple of the Lord and we want to make sure that we are aligned to what God is calling us to be and that's a house of prayer. Praise God. I pray that you receive it and believe it in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah for the Lord is so good. Go ahead today, see the various stages in which we are to travel in submission because that's what we're doing we're submitting to the lord we're yielding to him and when we are able to yield to the lord when we're able to give ourselves over to god we can give ourselves over to any situation that he brings us to you understand anything that he places us in we'll, we're able to surrender to that praise god so if you're not married praise god but the lord is bringing marriage your way guess what you'll be able to submit hallelujah in that way in marriage praise god if you are a wife hallelujah you'll be able to submit to your husband and honor your husband hallelujah because you know how to honor jesus christ you know how to be what he is expecting you to be what he's calling you to be he said be like that he you know how to be that praise god hallelujah and you may say well that seems a little different from this no it's not submission is submission praise god Honor is honor. Hallelujah. It's just your viewpoint and how you see things. Yes, you may have different responsibilities of what you're supposed to be good stewards over. Meaning good steward, praise God. Hallelujah. But still, whatever it is that you're supposed to be a good steward over in your household, be a good steward over that, praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord is expecting that, praise God. It comes with the territory. It comes with the union. It comes with the, the, um, the agreement, praise God. Hallelujah. That these are the things that will be done, praise God. It's just the truth, y'all. And that's a communication between you and yours. But what I'm sharing with you today is that the Lord will call you into relationships. The Lord will call you into friendships. The Lord will call you into working relationships, praise God. Build, building ministries together. How does that look, praise God? The Lord will call you into these things. And you should know how to be a good steward over the small. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because when the Lord is calling you, he's calling you for a mission, for an opportunity to touch people. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's not about anybody else. It's about what he's calling you to do because there's going to be somebody that's going to show up looking for what you have. Praise God. It's going to be somebody showing up. Praise God. They're going to need that guidance. Praise God. And they're going to be looking for it. Do you understand? Hallelujah. And you need to be in place in Jesus' mighty name, doing what's rightfully so. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for this day. We thank you for your goodness and your grace and your mercy. We thank you for your message today, Lord God. Hallelujah. Showing us how to be like that from Zacchaeus. Hallelujah. To the servant, Lord God, to the disciples, to the house of prayer, which Jesus called the houses. He is praise God. Hallelujah. We're just so grateful for you, oh Lord God, showing us this elevation in spirit, showing us how to be good stewards, showing us how to be submissive to your call and your ways, oh Lord God. We're just so grateful that your spirit is hovering. We're so grateful that you dwell in us, oh Lord God. We're so grateful that people will recognize us no matter where we go as children of God. We're so grateful, oh Lord God, that your light illuminates in us, oh 
oh Father God, that we will be beacons of light in this world, oh Father God. Hallelujah. May every single person at the sound of your word, oh Lord God, Hearken to your voice in Jesus' mighty name. May they be drawn to you, O oh Father God. May they love you like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. May they surrender their life and their will to you, O oh Father God, in Jesus' mighty name. May they get on their post and be about your business, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. We're praying for them today, O oh Lord God. Those who are lukewarm, those who don't know you, Father God. Hallelujah. May when they hear, when you call them, Lord God, may they hear your call in Jesus' mighty name. For we are drawing to an end. Hallelujah. We are drawing to a close, Lord God. You said that we will not know, praise God. Hallelujah there will be many who will not know hallelujah i'm not gonna say we because we are the church praise god hallelujah we will hear his voice when he calls praise god we will know hallelujah when it's time to go praise god hallelujah we will surrender hallelujah we will just leave praise god when it's time to go but the lord is letting us know that many will not hear his voice praise god many will not know when he's come and it will be like a thief in the night praise god Hear what I'm saying? It will be like a thief in the night. We will hear the voice of the Lord, y'all, praise God, because we are consecrated to him. We have a relationship with the Lord. We will hear him when he calls, praise God, when he comes for us, and we will go. Like, oh, I got to go, praise God. Hallelujah. I heard his call, praise God. I got to get my lamp, praise God. Hallelujah. It's, it's oil in my lamp, praise God. I got to go. Hallelujah. Do you understand, praise God? There will be no time to wake up this one and wake up that one. It's time to go. And I pray that you are ready to go when the Lord calls, that you're not still trying to, you know, be in the world, be and and be in the world and move in the world, being of the world, doing what the world is doing, praise God. And then think that you have a lot of time to get it right with God. See, we're already in training. Those of us who have surrendered to the Lord, those of us, you know, it's one thing to believe in God, but it's another thing to actually do his will. It's one thing to say, I, I trust God, right? But it's another thing to be obedient to what he's telling you to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, we can sit back and wait on God all day, but we have to be cooperative and we have to be obedient to the instructions because this vessel he has to use. Praise God. Why? Because things have to get done through works and faith, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can call it faith and works, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, you have to work, y'all. You have to be, you have to do uh, the business of the Lord. And that that includes your body. That requires your effort. Hallelujah. Because there are some things that you have to get done on this earth in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. And stop passing what you have to get done to somebody else. That's your job to get it done, right? Hallelujah. You can ask for help, but it's your job to get it done. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sometimes people will take things off your plate. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, that's great. <laughs> that's great if they take it off your plate, right? Praise God. Hallelujah. But in the end, the Lord is going to call you and he's going to have you to be a, accountable. He's going to hold you accountable for what he is giving you. And so we want to make sure that we're good stewards over what we've been given, praise God, and we're not passing along to anybody else. Hallelujah, because he's going to be looking at us. Hallelujah, and I'm just so grateful to the Lord that he is so good. And also, praise God, if the Lord is going to take something from your hand and give it to somebody else, that's his job, right? He's going to do that, hallelujah, because that means that, you know, somebody hasn't been a good steward. Hallelujah, and we need to be that in Jesus' mighty name. All right, y'all, be blessed. Love you with the love of Christ. I will see you back here at 6 p.m. for communion. Move forward knowing that Luke 19 is the greatest chapter for submission because we learned that during our 21 day uh, submission fast, praise God. And now we see why, hallelujah. And I'm just grateful to the Lord for uncovering that for us in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed, y'all. Love y'all. Hallelujah. Amen.